seconds and counting. Hey, what's good, guys? It's Club City Entertainment here, back with another video. And for today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Houston Texans. And the Houston Texans actually just made a signing. Um, they signed wide receiver Davian Davis. Um, I believe he's 24 years old. He was born on October 23rd, 1996. So his birthday's coming up. I mean, good for him that he's going to be on a NFL roster for his birthday. He's pretty happy for him, I guess. Um, he's 5'11", 195 pounds. Um, I believe he ran a 4-6 in the 40-yard dash. Um, I don't think he has any career professional catches in the NFL. Um, let me go through like the rundown of his NFL career so far. So he signed with the Vikings as the undrafted free agent on April 29th, 2019. He was then waived by them during the final roster cuts, but he was re-signed to the team's practice squad. Then he was promoted to the active roster a little bit later than that, but he really didn't appear into a game. And then he was eventually waived like maybe a month later. Um, he was promoted again, uh, like a few days later, and he made his debut against the Washington Redskins. I believe it was a Thursday night game. I'm not really too sure on that one, but he really didn't have any catches. I don't think he played too many snaps. He was just that wide receiver four, wide receiver five guy in case, I guess, the main starters got hurt. And I'm, I'm guessing they didn't get hurt because he didn't have any receptions. But then he was signed to a future reserve contract with the Vikings, and then he was eventually waived. And then the Cleveland Browns signed him this past training camp. He was suspended the first two games for uh, NFL substance abuse policy. So then he was cut and then signed again to the practice squad. And then we signed him off of the Cleveland Browns practice squad. So this guy's been through a lot. I'm sure he's hungry. I'm sure he's eager. He's dying to play. He's still very, very young, only 24. Um, and his college accolades, they're pretty, pretty good. He was a first team FCS All American in 2017. I believe that's that's college, yeah. And then he was a SLC Offensive Player of the Year in 2017, two time first All Team SLC in 17 and 18, and then a second team All SLC in 2016. So I mean, he didn't really play. I don't. He played for Sam Houston, so it's not that crazy of a college. Um, they didn't really get too much competition. So I mean, all those awards, they're very very good. For a, for a normal college player, but I mean, for an NFL player, he's nothing to be, like, too blown under the water with, I guess. Um, his college stats, they were, as I said, they were very, very good. Won many accolades, but just never really got it in the NFL. He never really got that chance. I mean, I guess you could say he got that chance. He just hasn't, he's just fumbled the chance time after time with the abuse policy and then, and then all of this. But he seems like he's a very nice guy. Um, it doesn't hurt to give him a chance, especially us that were kind of thin at wide receiver. I believe Danny Amendola's out. He should be out for the foreseeable future. I'm not sure if it's two weeks, three weeks, or what it is, but I believe he's still hurt. Uh, Nico Collins, nobody really knows how long he's going to be out for. So right now, it's mainly just um, Brandon Cooks, Anthony Miller, uh, Chris Conley, and then now Davion Davis. I don't think I'm missing any wide receiver. Um... Maybe that punt returner, Andre Roberts. But other than that, we our wide receiver core is pretty, pretty thin. So, I mean, it doesn't hurt to add a guy like this. As I said, has a bunch of potential. Still pretty young, 24, about to be 25. And he just hasn't gotten that NFL chance. I believe he has a couple catches in preseason now that I'm looking at it. But I don't think any regular real game action. But, yeah, as I said, I hope the best for the guy. I hope he gets a chance to prove himself on our team. He's going to have a bunch of opportunity to do so with the rookie quarterback and Tyrod probably not coming back until who knows when, two weeks, maybe three weeks. For all we know, he could be out the season. Nobody really knows. But um, yeah, let me know what y'all guys think about the signing. Again, his name is Davion Davis. Um, I see him as a high upside. It's like, it's like a high, a low risk, high reward type of signing. Like you don't gain. I mean, you could gain something major from the signing. With him becoming a star or at least a, at least an average to decent backup or even a starter. But then the the risk, you're not really risking anything. Just a roster spot on a team that's not 
that top heavy or it really has that many good receivers or good players in general. So, I mean, adding a guy like this, nah, it's just whatever. But, yeah, as I said, I hope the best for the guy. I hope he can pick up – I hope he can – Um, how do you say? I hope he can pick up running when he hits the field. I hope he can get that chance to prove himself. But, yeah, as I said, let me know some thoughts about the guy, what you think. Do you think he deserves a chance after all those – after all those cuts and then re-signs, cuts, and then the abuse policy, and then there and that. But yeah, um, it's been Club City Entertainment, and I hope you guys have a good day. Peace.